this is uh, Coast Guard Station Ponce de Leon Inlet, and uh, I've been stationed here for about two years, and honestly, it's probably one of the best places in the Coast Guard to be at. I mean, it's, uh, I mean, it, as you can see, the buildings and stuff are, they, they look historic. I mean, it's a, it's a very nice, it's a pretty base. It's, it's not like, it's not like something that you would normally see mm -hmm. out, you know, as like uh, Patrick Air Force Base or Mayport. It's a place where you can come and, you know, even though you're at work, you can still be relaxed. Originally, it was down at Mos in Mosquito Lagoon, down where the Canaveral National Seashore is now. That was the original Coast Guard station down there. They moved it up here in 1939. That's when this building was built. Uh, Ponce Inlet is, I think, the seventh worst inlet on the East Coast. So they do a lot of search and rescue work here. Um, there had been some work here during Prohibition, catching rum runners. Uh, one, one of the original rum runners was from New Smyrna, McCoy. So uh, they did that from the old station, but that's, that's why the station was established here. Primarily search and rescue. So we don't have as much commercial traffic coming in and out as in cruise ships, freighters, naval ships, that kind of stuff that we have to, you know, escort and board and transport. So we actually get to get out there with mom and pop boater and educate them on how to be safe on the boat so we don't have to go on so many search and rescue cases. It's, it's the simple fact of interacting with the public and actually, you know, living in town and going out there and seeing the same people that you talked to on their boat two days ago and they're saying, hey, how you doing, you know? And people have a, have a good impression of the Coast Guard around here, and that's the way we like to keep it. More has impacted the stations that have a, a commercial maritime presence like Jacksonville and Canaveral. Here the mission hasn't changed a great deal. The, the main thing that has changed here is that now we, we have what they call maritime domain awareness, where we have identified certain uh, points of interest that might be of interest to terrorists and we have to maintain a little closer watch on those. There's no, there's no longer any commercial traffic here and some people look at that and say well there used to be, this used to be a big commercial fishing town, there used to be shrimp boats and, and uh, commercial fishing here and that's gone. Uh, but they look at that and say well you know we don't need a Coast Guard station here and then they look at the 300 and some search and rescue cases we do a year and say, well, maybe we do need some. I like the mission that they do. I like the, the aspect of saving lives, uh, protecting the environment. I like the people, a great bunch of people on this station and all through the Coast Guard. And it's like the idea of, of doing something worthwhile.